same things are occurring but the way they are having higher structure or high length and all these things right now what is epistasis now epistasis is a phenomena when one gene completely masks the effect of another gene right so so it's it's just like one gene we is playing the vital role and the master key role we over any other gene for example if we look at here in this case coat color in mice is controlled by two separate genes right c and c so capital c is for the pigment which is pigment is present or when the pigment is add or c small c is no pigment is present capital b for more pigment uh, small b for more pigment or which is black and small b is for the less pigment which is brown so you can see that capital b means black small b, b means brown but if capital c that is the pigment is there if small c no pigment is there so what it does actually the small c here is acting as the epistatic genes that means if there is no pigment present even if you have this capital b gene in your in your character in your in your gene uh, in your dna you shouldn't have expressed that because there is no pigment present though you are having the gene color for black but if there is no pigment there will be no coloration so that is what is called the new characteristic if you are having small c small c neither you will have a black coat because there is no pigment at all it will give a complete different color characteristics which is called albino or totally white so if you look at here in this punnett square you can find that the production of albino characters because due to the interaction between the small c gene and the b genes right so this is what we know as epistasis where genes are interacting and one gene is acting as a master regulator of other gene which masks the effect of other gene completely right so these are the examples and this is the albino character guys and normally the ratio for mendel if you look at the this dihybrid cross should be 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 for phenotypes but it actually becomes 9 is to 3 is to 4 in this kind of epistatic situations actually there are many varieties of epistasis that are found and present depending upon the type they are expressing they are varied now this is one example of epistasis and this is recessive epistasis that we can see if both of them are recessive then you will get the effect 9 is to 3 is to 4 is the modified ratio from the mendel